Hi, welcome to the production environment tutorial for Crazy Talk Animator. Here I'm going to tell you all about the new unique functions and features that are available with the newest version. We'll start off with the UI. On the top panel you'll see your project, actor, animation, scene, SFX, and export tools. Right below that on the top toolbar are a number of functional tools such as transform and flip. On the top part of the left toolbar you'll find your actor creation and modification tools. Below that are your animation tools. The content manager is where you'll find all your actors, props, and animations once they are selected in the top panel. Scene manager you'll find a list of all the items that are present on your screen. Lastly, at the bottom you'll find your timeline. This is the quintessential tool for animating your on-screen characters and props. These are the main tools you'll need to know in order to get started. The first one is the actor button. Here you'll find everything you need to bring new characters into your animation. Simply click and drag any of the characters from the content manager to your screen. Crazy Talk Animator includes a number of default characters, but you can also save your own characters to the custom library. You can import different bodies and heads as well. Simply select a character on the screen and double click a different body or head. It's the easiest way to swap out these features. The next section contains all your preset animations. The motion area contains only body motions without facial movement. Here I can double click on the animation and make my character do a little chicken dance. The face section contains only facial animations. If I move the timeline scrub back to the beginning, I can layer a facial animation over my chicken dance. It's nicer to see the chicken dance with a little more expression anyway. In the perform area, there are animations that combine both facial and body movement. Here's an example. The scene section contains a number of different background scenes that you can switch in and out with simple double clicking. You can double click or drag any scene you've got onto the stage and it will appear right away. There are also image layers that can be placed over top of the scenes for various effects. If you ever wanted to put a spotlight in a park, then you can do that here. The prop section contains a whole bunch of items that can be added to your scene, such as lamps, books, even fireplaces. Some props can be animated and can be linked together to form larger props. I can create my inner city street scene by simply dragging in different prop elements and placing them in the right place. Pretty cool, eh? Various backgrounds can also be imported as well, in image or video format. Backgrounds are different from scenes because they take up the whole screen and are always facing the camera no matter how the scene is changed. Simply click and drag any image file to your Crazy Talk Animator workspace and import it as a background. You can add your own image and video files in almost any file format to your scene as well. Here I'm adding in a Swift file of a TV frame. I'm then going to add in a motorcycle video as a prop, which means I can resize and attach it to other props, such as the TV frame. I'll just resize the video a little bit to create a TV that will play live video in my animation. The SFX section contains all kinds of different items that can spice up your animation and make it seem more dynamic and colorful. Let's pretend this blue light bulb has a bright idea. We'll need to import in a flashing light bulb to highlight his moment of discovery. I can find this in the object area of the SFX panel. Now if I play the animation, you can see the flashing light bulb that makes the scene a bit more interesting. I can also add in speech bubbles if I have an animation with no voices. Simply repeat the same step and click and drag any one of the variety of speech bubbles onto the scene. There is also a composer mode that provides you with the ability to customize the details of any prop or actor on the screen. Simply take any character and replace the hair, shoes, or any other feature you can imagine. You can completely transform any character if you have the right material. After you finish, just update your character to the stage. The character composer is the first item on the left toolbar. Next down is the actor creator. This allows you to take any full body photo and turn it into a character for you to manipulate. Crazy Talk Animator also has the face creation ability from previous versions. Here you can create your own face and import it onto any character's body. The next two buttons down allow you to import any sort of media or sound into your animation. 
The next function allows you to use a variety of sources such as text-to-speech or your own recorded voice to make your characters talk. In the bottom section of the left-hand toolbar are all the different types of animation options available. Crazy Talk Animator's comprehensive animation capabilities include sprite switching, body puppeteering, and key editing. On the top toolbar, you'll find some basic but useful animation tools. I'll use this scene of a slow motion run to demonstrate how to use them. One really important tool is the Link tool. This allows you to link any on-screen object to another. I'll click and drag in the SFX first. Then, when my SFX is positioned properly, I'll select Link, then select my character's head. If I don't link the SFX, it will just remain in the same position. Now he looks a lot more tired. If you select 3D view on the top toolbar, you can see your whole scene from a unique angle. You can zoom in, pan, and rotate to look at how far apart your objects are on the Z-plane. You can also move any object along any axis by simply using the arrows. In regular view, I can also move my objects along the Z-axis by using the Z-depth arrow, located near the bottom of any selected object. If I move that back and forth, my character will move closer and further away on the scene. In this scene, I'll demonstrate the Duplicate tool. If you want to create clones of characters or props, use this. You can also modify the look of any character by resizing, distorting, or rotating it by using the Transform tool. The Flip key simply flips your character back and forth. I'm going to apply a dancing animation here to demonstrate how the basic timeline works. To do this, I'll move my character to one side of the screen first. I'll choose the Egyptian dance. For now, our character will do the dance in a stationary position. I can open up the timeline by pressing the F3 short key, and make sure that the motion and transform tracks are open. If I move the time scrub forward, then change the position of my character to the other side, it will create another keyframe in the timeline to mark the previous position. There are a wide variety of tools and customizable options in the timeline. To find out more, check out the tutorial on basic animation and timeline editing. There's no better way to learn the new production environment of Crazy Talk Animator than to try it out yourself. So what are you waiting for?